Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our lesson, PGI lesson on exercise 19, your first solo. There's a couple of people going on their first solo. And let's get started. Just it's a real short lesson. Requirements uh, you need a student pilot permit, so that has to be signed off. You need a medical certificate, and the pilot training record has to be signed off by a flight instructor. There are some restrictions. You can only be day VFR, no passengers, Canada only. And this one's super important. You can only fly uh, when authorized by a, a flight instructor. So in a car, uh, kind of a learner's permit means you can drive the car with somebody in there, whereas a student pilot permit lets you fly the aircraft solo. But the difference is that you have to be supervised by a flight instructor. So they have to be authorizing all flights. So this kind of catches some people off guard. They buy themselves an airplane, have a student pilot permit, and they think like, oh, I can fly whenever I want. I have the student pilot permit. I know how to do it. Well, you do that, and it's like a massive contravention. They'll probably take your student pilot permit away for five years, give you a big fine, uh, because unfortunately, just because you know how to fly the airplane, there's a good chance you haven't developed the judgment yet uh, that goes along with it. So anyway, if you're right here, uh, congratulations on your first solo, and uh, we'll continue on. Thank you.